Hi guys, Sunday night again, and I've got a couple of things I'd like to try uh, in the vlog this week. Normally I just kind of give you an update about what I did last week and what I'm hoping to do this week, um, kind of preview the upcoming tutorials, um, but I have a couple of little extras I want to toss in this week. Now, I'm going to jump right into that. I've been looking around on the internet lately and um, I'm totally in love with obviously 80s toys and My Little Ponies and stuff like that. And I've noticed that more and more people are starting to do this cool little um, thing where they take like a little blind bag charm and they turn it into an actual charm to wear around your neck like it's, it's like a little figurine and anyway I wanted to try that so I went to uh, the store this week and I got into the toy section and I went actually looking for a My Little Pony blind bag but I couldn't find any of those instead they had Hello Kitty and I mean what better substitute for a My Little Pony than a Hello Kitty so I'm going to just unbox this in front of you I have no idea obviously what's in it it's a blind bag um, and I figured I'd wait until I did the Sunday night vlog to uh, open it up I've never done one of these before it's been a long time since I was a little kid I don't even think they had these when I was a little kid um, but I'm so excited because I've never really done this and who doesn't love toys so I'm gonna get right into it I'm gonna cut it along the bottom because as you can probably see um, um, this is a really cute little package and I don't want to wreck the top part. I want to keep this because I'm probably going to put it in a scrapbook or something later. Um, so let me just cut up the bottom right along this cute little black line. There we go. Okay, so this, before I go further, this is a mega block. Um, it's a mega block thing so like it's supposed to be used in conjunction with a mega block set but I'm not going to be doing that anyway so it comes with a piece of Lego a little yellow piece of Lego and it comes with I don't want to look at her just yet it comes with um, a little oh my god this is so adorable oh my god there's play sets oh whoa uh oh I'm gonna have to go back to the toy store it comes with this little fold out thing that tells you how many characters are in the set and there's eight characters in this set and I'm gonna find out which one I got oh my god <laughs> I got the hello kitty she's in her bathing suit oh my god oh my god that is so cute oh my god oh my god that is so cute now what's this oh she has a pail <gasps> no way she's going to the beach and she's got a pail and i am just in love with this little toy oh my god okay so <laughs> my idea is to take a an eye screw screw it into the top of my little figurine here and then string it on a string so i'm gonna go get myself um a, an eye screw i'll show you what i'm talking about and hopefully it'll work i'm gonna try screwing it into her head and we'll see what happens hang on one second all right so I got an eye screw, and this is what I'm talking about. So it's got an eye, obviously, in the center, and then it, it's sort of a screw in the bottom. Now, typically you drill a little hole in something first, and then you kind of screw these in. But, um, and you probably won't be able to see this, I took a pin, and I made a pin mark in the top of her head where I want to put the actual screw, and I've made a little tiny wee indent, and so... You're going to watch me do this. I'm going to try and turn this little Mega Bloks toy into an actual charm. So let's see if this works. And I want to try and be as careful as I can to go straight down. Oh, I think this might work. Oh my gosh. If this works, I'm going to have to go get the whole set. Can you imagine? And there's eight. So that's like one for every day of the week, plus an extra. Oh my god, it worked, it worked, it worked. <sighs> okay, can you see that? Now I have a charm. I have a Mega Block Hello Kitty charm. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, now I'm going to string it on something. And I am going to go find something to string my new little toy on. <laughs> oh, the glare in here is terrible. There, there. Hang on one second. <laughs> All right, so I've got an extra chain lying around. This is sort of a silver chain. I don't even think it's real silver. It's just sort of a cheapy little thing. But I'm going to string my newfound charm 
onto my necklace and I'm going to put it on. Oh, it's so difficult to put these things on yourself. Can I do that right? Oh. Okay. <laughs> that is so cute. Oh my god. I now have a Hello Kitty necklace. So there you go. <laughs> One Hello Kitty necklace. Oh my god. That is so cute. Ah, I love it. I'm going to wear her to work tomorrow because how super cute is that and I'm going to have to put together an outfit. You know what? I'm going to go do that too. Ta-da! So <laughs> I am going to wear this to work tomorrow. I've got, uh, it's always a little breezy in my office so I like to wear a, a scarf around my neck if I've got sort of open shoulders. Um, but there's my little Hello Kitty charm on my, <laughs> on my necklace, around my neck and this is a little dress little black dress, nice and appropriate for the office, but there's nothing written anywhere that says you can't totally cute up the office by wearing a little something friendly around your neck. So anyways, <laughs> that's it for that. I just want to do a quick craft uh, Sunday night just to sort of say hi. Oh, and by the way, I wanted to thank you all again. We've gone up and over a hundred subscribers and I'm really excited about that because we've only been at this for a couple of months now. And uh, that just <laughs> fills me with all sorts of warm, fuzzy feelings and makes me want to make more stuff. So uh, on that note, we've had a lot of people asking for um, sort of a basic, something simple to do. And so I figured we'd do a granny square this week. And I know that might be kind of easy for some of you and maybe some of you have never even tried it before. But I just wanted to talk to you a bit about how different they can be and how many different uh, ways you can use a granny square. So I've made a few. So I've got one that's um, just basic striping, just to give you an idea about how you can do color changes. And this is sort of the color block concept. So you um, kind of create one that's uh, all sort of one color in the center, and then you give a, a single border. And if you, um, it looks really, really sharp when you reverse this. So you do all blue in the center and then all white in the border. And then there's my personal favorite the super bright <laughs> multiple colored ones and I've got several afghans like this around my house and this week when we do the tutorial I'll show you some of my afghans. Um, it's just a simple little um, how you make a granny square but I think it's really important for all of you to have it in your repertoire of patterns because it's the most basic thing you can make and it's one of the coolest building blocks in the crochet universe. You can make afghans, you can make ponchos, sweaters, you can make baby toys, you can make baby blankets, you can make baby booties, you can make Christmas stockings, you can make anything using this one basic concept. So look forward to that this week and uh, I would love to see you guys try this out and then post your own pictures of it and tag it down below just so I can see what you guys come up with too. I'm going to go like back and get one of, every, I'm going to get a whole pile of them because I want to have one for every day of the week. I mean, she's so cute, she's going to the beach. Anyway, <laughs> I will see you guys later. Have a great week. Thank you so, so much for staying with me. Please like and subscribe if you, uh, if you want to see me try and make something. Please put your notes down in the, underneath the comments below. And um, we will see you in a couple of days for a granny square tutorial. Oh, and there's another tutorial coming closer to the end of the week, but it's a surprise, so you have to stay tuned. Okay, <laughs> I'll see you guys later. Have a great week. Bye. Thank you. Next.